Alright YouTube, what's up with you guys? Welcome to my Q&A today. I hope you guys are going to love the video. I got some great questions for you guys. Thank you so much for asking because you know how apathy and you know how we do. So let's get right into it before the dude do. You know how I shoot. I thought I saw something, but let's get right into it guys. What's your favorite flavor of Gamma? Well, yesterday I tried a grape. It was just a sample, but the best flavor right now. Can't wait for it to come out. I'm about to buy probably three tubs. But for now, it's definitely peach mango. This thing tastes amazing. I'm literally drinking some right now. Use code Apathy for 5% off if you want to go ahead and get some. But this thing is amazing. I love peach mango out of all the flavors and then grapes next. If I had to pick winning $200,000 for doing absolutely nothing or winning con champs and winning $100,000, what would I choose? Well, I'll definitely pick winning con champs just because I'm a really competitive person. I love winning more than anything and I would love to have that prestige, you know, world champions you know it's freaking amazing it's something I've been wanting to do for years now so that's the one I'll definitely choose if I had to be any female for an entire day who would I choose simple Kim Kardashian what you gonna do with all that junk all that junk inside your trunk I'm gonna get 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 you drunk get you love drunk off my heart does Nesha really know of course he does you think I'll sit here and lie to you about it Man. Will you show us your nipples? <laughs> Who the f think you are, buddy? Mama should have taught you better. How often did you feel like giving up on gaming? What did you do to stay positive? I felt like giving up on gaming so many times. Uh, I actually, I hate saying this, but I've quit about two times, three times, two times and a half. And it's gaming can be really stressful just like any other sport or any other thing, you know, something you, you put a lot of your time in and it can be really stressful and frustrating when you see no progress, when you see you're not getting what you deserve, when you're constantly maybe getting destroyed and stuff like that. But, you know, in the end of the day, it just depends on how bad you want it. Some people just want it more than they want to breathe, you know, these people, they want it more than anything, show it, they play every day, they grind for hours, you know, they never give up and, you know, the more I failed, the more uh, stuff happened to me in life, the more I realized that, you know, in life, I, if I want to go somewhere, if I want to succeed, if I want to accomplish my goals, I have to work my ass for it. And I have so much motivation, I have so much fire just from a lot of things, and that's what keeps me going every single day. Am I going to be in your video? Yes. Yes, you are. Can this tweet be featured in a video? You know what? You too. You too. You, you could be in it too. You could be in it too. Favorite event state? Obviously California. I freaking love it when we go there. Like, I love the events there and I freaking love the weather. I love everything about it. One day, maybe, hopefully, I'll move out there, but it's gonna be awesome. Who's your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? I'm gonna have to go with Gohan. Seriously though, Gohan, fucking awesome. Booty or boobs? What? 100% booty. Check it out. What motivates you to be your best and who has been your biggest supporter throughout your college career? I would say a lot of things motivate me to want to be the best, to want to be the best player in the game. For starters, I'm a really competitive person. I love being the best. I love being on top. I love winning more than anything. And that's something I, I want to do every single day. I want to win everything. But another reason and more reasons are, one, I love proving people wrong. When someone say I couldn't do something, when someone say I can't do something, I love just shutting them up. I love showing them that I can. I love showing them that they're wrong. You know, I love proving people wrong. A lot of people, you know, talk about me sometimes in a good ways and sometimes in a bad way. And that's been throughout my whole college career just due to the fact that I've slacked a lot and I just want to show people that they're wrong and I want to show them that you know what I am a good player I am one of the best and I can do anything I want I can do anything I set my mind to my biggest supporters would probably have to be my parents and Maria who's aka my fiance I guess there was a couple teammates like too quick who pushed me you know who who knew I had skill who believed in me and they're they're a huge reason why I am where I am now and uh, I'm so thankful uh, I'm so extremely thankful for it all the support from everybody and they're a huge reason why I am here 
why I'm sending you right here, right now, talking to you guys. Have pubic hair for teeth or teeth for pubic hair? That's actually a good one. But I'll say the 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 best one to choose from is obviously having pubic hair for teeth just because it's not noticeable as bad as you would when you open your mouth and you know it's maybe you can use something you can do something with those teeth down there you know so it's, it's not that bad I like that answer more are you a virgin yes matter of fact I am since I'm very honest no I am not glad you made Super Saiyan 3 how does it feel well Kiwi Dark Dragon feels amazing I feel so it's it's like it's it's out of nowhere. I can't control it sometimes, but, but oh my god, it feels amazing. I feel so strong. I feel powerful. You know, I feel like I can do a super saiyan, a super saiyan spirit bomb out of nowhere, just like spirit bomb. But dude, I'm so happy. Biggest accomplishment in my life. And the final question: What are some tips to win more gunfights off host? Well, actually I actually have some pretty good tips. Uh, I'll give you probably the three best tips you can ask for. Stop sprinting so much, like your host or like you're on the best connection ever. And they start winning gunfights off sprint just because they're host or they're on a great connection. And then when they play someone off host and they go like double negative, they're like, wait, what happened? It's just due to the fact that you could do that on host, but you shouldn't be doing that all the time. That should, you should make it a habit where you don't do that. Wait for teammates. Pre-aim. Pre-aim is a huge thing. Instead of sprinting corners, instead of sprinting anywhere, everywhere, Pre-aim corners, pre-aim. Pre-aiming is gonna help you win more gunfights off host 100%. Yo, another tip I give you guys is pre-fire and camera glitch. Camera glitching is basically uh, going around a corner very fast or uh, like let's say you're prone and you stand up very quickly. And there's, they on, the, on your opponent's screen, they should have maybe a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 second delay where you see them first and then they see you. So, that camera glitching is sometimes really useful, especially off host, just due to the fact that uh, you know you have that split 0.5 seconds to maybe I'll react them or maybe get a bullet, one more bullet than them, and it can help you win a good fight. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want me to do this maybe every week or you want me to do this more often, um, I'll greatly do it. It's fun, and I love answering your questions. You know, you guys have a lot of questions, and I have so much. I have so many answers. You know, that's why that's that's who I am. I'm I'm, I'm apathy. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please leave a like. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.